Hi kids, welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish Peanut Butter and Jellyfish were the best of friends. Best of friends who spend their days exploring up, down, around and through their grand ocean home. Unluckily for them though, they live near Krabby. You guys swim like humans, he would taunt as they slipped past. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish did their best to ignore the heckler. Did you hear something? asked Jellyfish. No, must be the current, said Peanut Butter. Krabby was relentless. You guys smell like rotten barnacles. Who are you? My grandma called. She wants her run-walk shoes back. I've seen sea snails swim with more style. What a bunch of bubbleheads. Jellyfish puffed up his chest and said, Driftwood and sea stones may break our bones, but words will never hurt us. You're an invertebrate. You don't even have any bones, huffed Krabby as he marched along his favourite rock by himself. One day, as Peanut Butter and Jellyfish set out on an excursion to the Great Reef, they swam past Krabby's perch. They braced themselves for the usual insults, but all was quiet. Then they heard the faint sound of sobbing up ahead. Who was crying? It was Krabby! He was caught in a lobster trap and it was being lifted to the surface. I'm scared, he cried. Surely he was doomed. Should we help? asked Jellyfish. The two friends shared a look. He is in serious trouble, said Peanut Butter. You're right, we have to help, exclaimed Jellyfish. But how? I have a plan, said Peanut Butter. Follow me. They swam up to the lobster trap. Peanut Butter used his tail to unlock the trap's gate, but Krabby didn't budge. Come on, you're free, said Peanut Butter. But, but I can't swim, confessed Krabby, and I'm afraid of heights. The lobster trap was getting pulled closer to the surface. Plan B, exclaimed Jellyfish. He worked furiously on untying the trap's knot. Hurry, cried Peanut Butter, I can see the fishermen above. Just when all hope was lost, the nut gave out, sending the trap plummeting. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish grabbed a hold and lowered it to safety. Krabby's legs wobbled as he returned to his favourite rock. Th th thanks, you two, he stuttered. You know, I'm sorry for saying those mean things, Krabby said. He may have been afraid of heights, but Krabby was brave enough to apologise. I guess I was jealous. You guys seem like you're always having so much fun exploring the open waters. Well, there's plenty to explore close to the ocean floor, said Jellyfish. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish still swam up, down, around and through. But it was on the ocean floor that they found their greatest treasure. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, ask a grown-up to click on the big red subscribe button so you never miss another story again and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you soon in the next one. And kids, always remember to be good and kind. Bye for now.